In the field of civil engineering, footings are structural elements that support the weight of a building or other structures and transmit it to the underlying soil or rock. There are several types of footings commonly used in construction. Here are some of the main types. 1. Strip footing. Strip footings, also known as continuous footings, are long, narrow footings that support load-bearing walls or closely spaced columns. They are typically made of reinforced concrete and are used for low-rise buildings. 2. Spread footing. Spread footings, also called isolated footings, are individual footings that support isolated columns or individual loads. They are usually square, rectangular, or circular in shape and are used for both low-rise and high-rise structures. 3. Combined footing. Combined footings are used when two or more columns are close to each other and their individual footings would overlap. A combined footing is designed to support the loads from multiple columns and distribute them to the soil. 4. Mat or raft footing. Mat or raft footings are large, thick slabs of reinforced concrete that cover the entire area under a building or a significant portion of it. They are used when the soil has low bearing capacity or there is a possibility of differential settlement. Mat footings distribute the loads over a larger area to reduce the pressure on the underlying soil. 5. Pile footing. Pile footings are used when the soil at the site has low bearing capacity or when the structure needs to be supported on weak or compressible soil layers. Piles are long, slender structural elements made of concrete, steel, or timber. They are driven deep into the ground and transfer the load to more competent soil or rock layers. 6. Strap footing. Strap footings, also known as tie beam footings, are used when two or more isolated footings are connected by a beam called a strap or tie beam. Strap footings help to distribute the load from one footing to another and maintain stability. These are some of the common types of footings used in construction. The selection of a specific type depends on factors such as the structural design, soil conditions, load requirements, and the recommendations of geotechnical engineers and structural designers.